So hello and welcome to Dommy Tries This. I hope you brought your cuppa. Mine is very full. This is my Proud Mama coffee mug that I got for Christmas from my middle daughter who will be graduating from Georgia State University very, very soon. She's on her last term. And the tea in there is really, really hot, so I had to set it down for just a second. Today's tea is the Tea Pig's Fruit and Spice. This one is apple and cinnamon. And it has apple, cinnamon, apple pomace, pomace, P-O-M-A-C-E, pomace, roasted chicory root, citric acid, sweet blackberry leaves, and natural flavoring, flavorings. I can talk, we're starting early. But let's go ahead and give this a taste and see how it is. Tea Pigs is one of the brands that has the big, um, what they call tea temples. They're triangular instead of flat, so they're not a sachet so much. And they have a little bit of a chunkier tea, which seems to pack much more flavor. But it hasn't been steeping that long, so we shall see. It's, it's really, really hot. Oh, oh, that is very, very good. It's very, very hot. Oh, excuse me, don't want to smell it. Anyway, I'm getting the apple and the cinnamon. It's very, very good. I've had apple teas before. I think there is a, um, a fall stash apple tea. Um, I'm not big on apple things usually, mostly because um, when I was younger, um, I had all my wisdom teeth pulled out and I got sick shortly after and my mother gave me nothing but apple juice uh, I can't even really drink apple cider anymore, but that is a very good tea that that's a tea that I'm willing to um, I think I'll be willing to purchase again Yeah, yeah, that's a really good Hmm, it's a really good blend we will see how it's working up at the end of the video, too, because it should get stronger between now and then. Anyway, so we are getting ready to open our first Ipsy of 2019. But as you know, the first thing we have to do is get rid of our unfinished business with 2018 and the December Ipsy bag. The December Ipsy bag was kind of a surprise. Some things were not, really, in the sense that I knew I was going to like them and all that. But a couple of other things was really surprising. So let's get started. Um, I'm wearing pretty much everything from last month's Ipsy bag today. Uh, and the first of those is this blush uh, from Finding Ferdinand called Skinny Dip. It is on my cheeks today. Uh, this thing is surprisingly pigmented and I have to be very, very careful with um, putting it on because it can quickly become a... Um, clown face. But when I use it very uh, lightly and I use it correctly, I do get a really nice color and a nice glow on my face. Um, it's not really a uh, satiny kind of blush in the terms that um, there's not really any glitter or anything in it. Uh, however, it does give a really nice glow to my skin when I do wear it. You're not going to see it very well right there, but it, there it is. Um, like I said, I do have to be careful when applying it because it can become very dark very quickly and make me look very, very pink. Um, but beyond that, I really like it and I'm, I'm really pleased with this. I'd be willing to try more from Finding Ferdinand after that one. Very happy with it. This is one of the ones that was not a surprise, and that's the First Aid Beauty Facial Radiance Pads. Um, I actually didn't use all of them from here. I took them out of here and put them in the new container I purchased because I love these. Um, I have tried another brand of um, facial pads, but I do not know if they were toners. They were supposed to be exfoliating to some degree, I believe, but nowhere on that on the container did it say it was a toner. Um, these are toners as well as exfoliators. The, the, the bump of the pad is not too harsh, but it's enough to just kind of finish getting rid of anything that you've worked off with your uh, soap or your mask or whatever. It's very good for cleaning off excess mask if after you've washed that off. And I just really like it. I have no problems with these. I love these. I recommend them. Um, just one of my favorite skincare products from First Aid Beauty.
So we got a bonus item last month. Everybody got this uh, Farrah brush in their um, in their bag. And um, I have to say, this is the first time I've actually found a brush that I'm not really that impressed with. I think it's honestly the length of these bristles. They're very soft and to make it harder for me to actually use it for much of anything. Um, it's too fluffy for me to use the way I would normally use a fluffy brush like this. Um, so overall, I haven't been reaching for it. I don't, I find the, the way this is, is very, feels kind of cheap and flimsy, honestly. I mean, the Luxie brushes I have tend to be very lightweight as well, but they feel sturdy and this does not. And I do have heard from uh, several people in the Ipsy group that I'm a part of on Facebook that they've had their brushes come broken and things. So this brush will actually go to Project Beauty Share. I do thin out my brushes occasionally as I get more brushes and I've actually developed um, some brushes that I really enjoy that are my favorites. Never thought I would say that because it seemed to me for the longest time that most brushes were uh, pretty standard. So there wasn't much difference between um, this brush or that brush from whichever brand. But um, I am finally developing some favorites. I'm finding I like um, heavier duty ones like the Juvia's Place versus uh, really lightweight, cheap ones. Um, the bristles on this are nice and soft, but overall this is not a brush that I'm reaching for and not a brush that I'm particularly impressed with. So yeah, this will be going to Project Beauty Share. Uh, next is this uh, half-caked lip fondant. This is in uh, Power Trip. I love the way they write their stuff. They use little hearts for their O's. I don't know if you can read any of that but it's kind of cute. But um, this one really surprised me. It's very, first of all, I didn't think I would be all that impressed with the color, to be honest with you. It tends, it's very dark, it's very pigmented, but it tends towards the orange side. I am wearing it today. It applies very smoothly and it takes very little to actually apply it. Um, one dip for the top lip, one dip for the bottom lip, and I'm done. I don't have any patchiness or anything like that I have to worry about. And I do apply my, um, especially my liquid lips over a primer, over my ColourPop primer. And some lipsticks do have trouble with that. Um, it takes a bit to dry down, but it does eventually dry down. And that is the biggest problem for me is that it's matte. And I don't like mattes. And this one does dry down enough and start showing off the lines on my lips. However, because it does take time to dry down, I can get a gloss or something over it and it makes it so that it plays well with others. And in fact, today I am wearing it with, it's almost a uh, twin from ColourPop. And I say almost twin because the ColourPop is slightly more pink and I believe a bit more dark, but the two colors are very, very similar. So there's the color. Yeah, see how it's just a bit more pink? The two work really, really nicely together. Um, so because it does dry down the way it does and it does start revealing lines, I do prefer a gloss. I do prefer this one, which is the color Stain. I am not sure if this is still available, unfortunately. Um, I've been really surprised at how much I've used this and I really like the color of the um, Half Caked. Because like I said, this tends more towards on the orange side, so it's not a color I would normally reach for. But it's been very easy to reach for this past month, and with this color, it's done really well. I do like the way it, it looks on my lips. So another, another one that I'm going to be keeping that is a hit for me. The next one was also actually a big surprise for me, and that is this Sugar Cosmetics uh, Arch Arri uh, Arc. Arch Arrival Brow Definer in Taupe Tom. So there's a couple of things with this that made me think I wasn't going to really like it very much. The first thing is the shape of it, which is, as you can see, kind of a triangle. And um, the color I thought would end up being too light because taupes tend to be either too light or too much on the red side. However, I am wearing it today and this particular taupe does seem to work for my um, brow color very well. It does work for me. 
it is a bit on the stiff side and the first time I used it I was like oh no this isn't gonna work this isn't gonna but as I've played with it over the month I've actually come to like it to some degree um, the shape is weird but I was surprised at how well the color works uh, I like the softness of the spoolie on the other end there is no a lot of the spoolies I have have like really sharp, either really sharp bristles or a very sharp edge. This doesn't have either one, so the spoolie is really, really nice. It's soft. It still brushes the the, the brow hairs the way it's supposed to and gets them in place. Um, and it blends the color in really nicely, but it doesn't scratch, which is really nice. So as time has gone on and I've used it more, I've come to like it. The color is good and it is pigmented enough and it applies well despite the stiff stiffness and the shape. I still prefer the ColourPop Precision Brow or Brow Boss, which honestly, they're practically the same thing. They're just under different names. Uh, but this isn't bad and I will keep it and continue to use it. And um, yeah, I've been, like I said, really, really surprised. There were a couple surprises in here. So that's another one. And last but not least, we have the Balm Take Home the Bronze in the color Greg. This actually ended up being a very good color. Again, it's something that I'm wearing today. Ended up being a very good color for me. Um, it is a bit warm for me for the winter in the terms it's a bit more red than what I normally wear in the winter but this does not apply as heavy as some of the other ones that I have um, you can see it down there so it is a light kind of light wash of color that I can build up um, so even though it's on the deep and the red is more of my summer tone or you know spring or summer it is definitely something that I can use it is definitely a color that I can I enjoy it's along what I normally buy in those it is a good bronzer it is buildable another keeper that um, not really surprised so far I've gotten several things from the balm in Ipsy for the last I've gotten one balm product from Ipsy for the last three or four months so this wasn't a surprise in terms of whether or not it would be um, a good product it was just whether or not it would match for me in general and it actually does okay so overall last month's bag was a really really big hit all everything in it worked even the things that I didn't think would work worked so I'm I was very very happy with December's bag alrighty so that was last month's bag I've got things to put away in a little bit I'll do that my my blush and my bronzer will go into a little palette that I have. But for now, let's get into this month's bag and see what we've got this month. I have looked at it. I can't remember a damn thing. I haven't looked at it as much as I normally look in my bags. So last month I knew the fab was coming and was excited about that. And But this month, I don't know. I do remember the bag being very, very cute. So I've got a card. Uh, be the first to try Glam Bag Plus. Well, I can't be the first because there's a lot of people doing that. And the little card, the thing says New Year, more products, more focus on you. Um, skin and company, uh, Skin and Company Roma Truffle Therapy Face Gommage. They've, I guess that's probably something in the bag. We'll find out. Welcome to our best year yet. We've got big changes coming your way. Here's a sneak peek at what 2019 has in store. Fab new Pete features. Pick your passion. Now you can add up to three extra samples to your glam bag. I've been seeing that go on. I don't do it because I can't afford it. <laughs> new ways to personalize your picks. We're introducing a new beauty, beauty quiz. Beauty quiz. I swear I can talk. To learn more about which products you want each month. Uh, more beauty brands. We've got more of them coming, including Huda, Benefit, It, Sunday Riley, Glam Glow, and others. Now, I've already gotten some of them from, from Huda from them. I don't know if I've gotten any It from them, but I think others have. Sunday Riley, I don't recall anyone getting anything from. And more insider tips and techniques, which they have on their little cards every month. And then... It looks like they have, uh, they actually list the stuff that's in your bag on the rest of this. So I'm going to leave the rest of that alone. I do like this uh, card better than the little cards that they've been giving. Um, yeah, I think this is a much nicer card. We'll see if they continue to use that. 
And here's our little bag. It's a very sporty little bag. It's pale blue. I'm not sure what my color, how my lighting is going. We've got nothing but gray outside, so my lighting is probably terrible right now. But it is a, um, feels almost like a canvas or a or denim type bag. And nice little pink details. It says Ipsy right here. We've got a little bow tie up here, and we will open that up and get started. So reaching in, I'm gonna pick this up. We have another balm. <laughs> they must think I absolutely love the balm. Okay, so Alternative Rocks, Volume Two, Blush Shadow, in the color Bare Minimum. And underneath that, it says Stevie Nickel. Don't know who Stevie Nickel is, but, oh, that's a nice color. I could see that being used as a nice blush. Let's see. Yeah, I could see that being more of a blush for me. There's there's pigmentation. There's more pigmentation than up here. There's pigmentation, but I don't I don't see me using that on my eyes. But that's a pretty color. That's a pretty color brush. It, it's not too pink. It's pink, but not too pink, if that makes sense. It's not it's not like the pink from my boxy charm lipstick. Let's go with that. That was really pink. Reaching back in. I got a big thing in here. I got a big thing in here. What are you? And indeed, it's the Skin and Company Face Gommage. Polishing Micro Exfoliating Truffle Face Gommage. Truffle Therapy Face Gommage enriched with grounded apricot kernel to gently and naturally buff away dry and dull skin. This innovative formula is lotion-based, which provides ultra hydration and protects the skin during the exfoliation process. The gommage is formulated with pure, pure truffle extract and sweet almond oil to help maintain the skin's natural moisture and provides anti-reddening properties. I can get into that. I got anti-reddening I can live with. A quick scan says no dimethicone. So looking forward to giving that a try. That's neat. Okay, reaching back in. Um, dude. Oh, I had something in the bag. I'm sitting there going, there's only two more things in there. Where's number five? And so we'll get the one that was actually in our pink bag. And this is uh, Illamasca coloring pencil. It is a lip crayon in the color Lust. I hope it is not gold. <laughs> it might be though. Hello. No, I don't think that's gold. Come on out. Oh, it's a nice red, looks like, from the end. Oh, so that's the pencil. Let's put that back on there. There's the pencil. And it's a sharpenable one. Oh, that's a color. Again, it's more on the pink side but it's not like that other pink. Um, I might have a little more hard time wearing this one because it is more pinky pink, but it is still more of a berry pink, so I should be able to wear it occasionally. It looks pretty close to one of the Huda colors or something that I have. So I use pencils mostly to clean up my lines and define my edges. I don't use them to actually most to add color. I try to use the same color to make sure that I'm not, you know, having pale pink and then dark edges or something like that. But in general, they're not for color. Okay, so two more items in the bag. I got a square. We have a loose pigment. I'm not thrilled with loose pigments, but this color looks pretty. So this is Naked Cosmetics Heavy Metal. I have a couple loose pigments that I like. Uh, do you have a... Yeah, you do. I was trying to open it and it has a thingy on it to prevent that. We love safety seals. We just all know that Dommy can't open things. That one came off nice and easy. Thank you, Naked. Nice when a company realizes that some people cannot open things. I'm open this very carefully. Oh, wow. Okay. So there's our color. It's beautiful. I'm going to take a little bit off this lid right here. That is sparkly blue. Okay, get a little bit more from here. Wow. And 
there's that. That's a pretty color. I might actually be okay with that, even though I'm not big on, you know, loose pigments. So we've got that. That's pretty though. That's a really pretty sparkly blue. I could have used that today. <laughs> I'm doing my eyes. Uh, okay, last item is, uh, this is H2O Plus Beauty Oasis Hydrating Tr Treatment water gel moisturizer clinically proven to double skin hydration and moisturize for 24 hours how to use no ingredients listed so i do not know if it has dimethicone in it oh there's the container now let's get this open there we go we have a safety seal again a company that made it kind of easy Okay, it feels really, st really stiff. Okay, come on. Did that safety still complete? No, the safety still didn't completely come off. Safety seal. <laughs> uh, knife. Whoa, and now I've got lots of it coming out. Okay then, wow, all right. So we had a, just had a lot of it try to come out because, you know, hey, <laughs> I was pressing on it so hard. Um, but there it is, right there. It's kind of a clear jelly. Feels very smooth. That little bit could have covered my whole face because now it's covering my whole hand and part of my arm. And that's odd. That's an odd scent. Let's somewhere between fresh and lotiony. How odd. It feels very smooth. Okay. I'm looking forward to giving that a try. I've been looking, I'm looking for, I really enjoy Neutrogena's H2 uh, uh, Hydro Burst and I enjoy um, I enjoy those lighter gel type moisturizers. Uh, the moisturizer I've been using has been a little heavy for me during the day. So trying something like this will be really nice. The biggest problem with the Neutrogena that I've seen, and I don't know about the fab one that I've got a sample of yet, but I've got to check the ingredients on it, is they have uh, dimethicone in it. So I'll have to check to see if this one does, or quite possibly does. That feels nice though. So far, it's not completely in, but it does feel nice and soft. And that smell does fade, thank God, because it's a weird smell. Anyway, so that'll be interesting to try and to look up and see how we like it and what the ingredients are like, because I am trying to cut out dimethicone. So if I can reduce the dimethicone and this doesn't have it and it's affordable, we'll take a look at it. So that's our last item. So we got the H2O, we've got the lip pencil, we've got the um, loose pigment, we got the blush because I wouldn't use that on my eyes. And we got the gommage from um, Skin and Company. So looking forward to trying all of these. This looks like a pretty decent bag for the most part. The only thing is the loose pigment would be, because I'm not big on loose pigment, that color in a pressed, pressed powder shadow would have been nice. Really nice. Um, but so far it's looking like they, once again, have given me a bag that I'm very, very happy with. But we'll know more for sure for right now. Everything here could, like, you know, totally fail me when I test it. Probably not, but you never know. Anyway, I hope you like what you've seen and that um, you'll come back again. And maybe, if you're not subscribed, hopefully you will subscribe. If you do subscribe, don't forget to hit the notification bell so you know when I upload. For my, for my notification squad, really, I can talk. You'll want to check your bell because we're yeah still having those problems. I'll keep reminding you and I'll probably, you know what? One of these days I'll fix it and I'll probably still keep reminding you to check your bell because it's been going on for so long. Anyway, if you don't subscribe, well, that would make me kind of sad. But you know what? You're always welcome back. And when you do come back, don't forget to bring your cup of tea. Oh, yeah. Okay. You get a lot of this. The cinnamon and apple are melded so 
well that you don't taste one versus the other. You taste that blend. It's beautiful. Mm. Oh, that's good. That is so good. Anyway, I hope you all have a great day.